This is an ultrasound exam of a 24 years old male patient with a chronic history of diarrhea and was diagnosed as ulcerative colitis by colonoscopy and biopsy. This is the thickened transverse colon. This is the thickened hypoechoic wall and uh, it's surrounded it is surrounded by ecogenic fat which is the mesocolon and the mesenteric fat around it this is uh, the transverse colon at uh, the level of the splenic flexure normal liver, gallbladder and pancreas. This is the transverse colon at the level of the hepatic flexure. And this is a, sag a sagittal section at the, at the level of the gallbladder we see the sigmoid colon and the rectum here the wall is thickened and hypoechoic and uh, they are surrounded by ecogenic fat this is a transverse section of the level of the descending colon and the transverse colon here this is the transverse colon. We see marked thickening of the colonic wall and uh, ecogenic fat around it, which is this ecogenic area around the wall. And the ecogenic dots here in the center are the air bubbles inside the lumen here we see the transverse colon and the descending colon while compressing it and here is the beginning of the sigmoid colon and here we see the colon crossing the left iliac vessels. This is the psoas muscle. And this is the colon. Here we see a small amount of ascites in the left iliac fossa. And here we see two enlarged uh, reactive lymph nodes this is the sigmoid colon this is a transverse section of the transverse column the thickness of the wall is six millimeters and this is a section at the upper border of the transverse colon we see the mesocolon colon here and this is the greater curvature of the stomach we see ecogenic fat and reactive lymph nodes this is the right iliac fossa we see mesenteric lymph nodes psoas muscle enlarged mesenteric lymph nodes these are the right iliac vessels and here is the cecum filled with feces we see that the wall is not uh, that much thickened compared with the rest 
of the colon. And here is the ileocecal valve. This is the terminal ileum entering the cecum here. This is the cecum. This is the ileocecal junction. And in this view we see the appendix here, which is normal, compressible, these are the iliac vessels, so we see mark thickening of most of the colon in this patient with ulcerative colitis